Hi, I'm Natalie Rogers and I'm part of the education team here at Houston Center for Photography. As we're practicing social distancing, we're going to be transitioning some of our educational programs online so that we can continue to engage with you while you're at home. I'm excited to bring you some family-friendly photo activities over the coming weeks that you can engage with with children and teens. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinhole camera using very simple materials that you probably already have lying around at home. What a pinhole camera is, it's a small uh, lightproof container which has a small hole in one side to let in light to form a picture of light on the inside, kind of like a mini movie theater. And this technology forms the basis for all photographic cameras that we know of today. And I think it's pretty cool that you can make a camera at home with just very simple materials. So before we get started, I would like to say that this activity is geared more towards students in grades 3rd through 12th grade. However, younger students can participate as well, but will likely need assistance from an adult or a teen to complete some of the steps. Alright, let's get started! The materials you will need for this activity are a cardboard tube, like an oatmeal container or a paper towel roll, a small sheet of aluminum foil, a small sheet of translucent paper, like wax paper or parchment paper. One sheet of dark construction paper, black works best. Some scissors, some tape, a couple rubber bands, and either a sharpened pencil, push pin, or paper clip to make a small hole. To get started, grab your cardboard tube and your foil and we're going to measure the foil so that it covers one end of the tube but is a little bit larger. Use your scissors to cut the foil down into a smaller square or rectangle. We'll do the same thing with our translucent paper. We want to make sure that it is large enough to cover the end of the tube, but still a little bit bigger. Now we're going to cover both ends of the tube with our foil and the translucent paper. You're going to pull the sides down so that the top of the tube is completely smooth and flat like a drum. Use one of your rubber bands to wrap around the tube so that the foil stays on there securely. Flip your tube over, place the wax paper or parchment paper over the tube, pull the sides down, use a rubber band to wrap around to make sure that it's secure and it won't fall off. Be careful when working with both your wax paper or parchment paper and your foil. They are fragile materials and can tear easily. The next step is to look at your foil end of the tube and now take either your pencil, your push pin, or the paper clip and make a small hole in the center of the foil. All that you need is a very small hole, and this is where the light will come in into your camera. The last step is to cover your camera with a piece of dark construction paper. You'll want to line up the foil end of your tube with one end of the paper, and you want to line up the tube long ways with the length of the paper. Tear off a piece of tape and tape the paper to the tube before you start wrapping the paper around it very tightly, making sure that the paper stays in line with the foil end. We're going to apply some more tape here along the edge of the paper so it stays on secure.
And now you're done. In order to look through your pinhole camera, you're going to point to the foil end at what you want to look at. I recommend looking at a bright light like a light bulb or even the light coming in through the window. And then you're going to look through the other end like so. Notice how I use my hand to kind of block out all other light. That helps you to see even more clearly. And what's happening is light is traveling through the hole and uh, reflecting an image onto the wax or the parchment paper that's on the inside, just like a little projector screen. So enjoy looking at the world around you with your very own pinhole camera. See you later. Bye. Houston Center for Photography exists for and because of our community. If you enjoyed this program, please consider making a gift to our annual fund at www.hcponline.org give. We are especially grateful for your vital support during this unprecedented time. Thank you.